to my newest video. In this video I wanted to show you my very first uh, oracle card deck and I'm still le learning about uh, tarot, about esoteric and similar topics but I have now quite a collection of uh, tarot and oracle cards but this beautiful one was my uh, very first uh, when I saw it in the shop uh, I automatically st uh, start to feel some connection to it because uh, as you can see um, has a purple white and purple cover and purple is my favorite color uh, also we have Awa here and uh, I feel a very strong connection to to these animals so when I saw it um, my first thought was that this deck is perfect for my first um, oracle deck because I, I had before uh, tarot, um, I bought it when I was 13, 14 maybe, uh, tarot with uh, Victoria Frances paintings and I think I'm gonna show you this deck uh, on some uh, other video. So I think we can start, as you can see the box is made of uh, cardboard, very thick. The deck uh, looks, uh, the deck, uh, the books look um, on the other side like this. And uh, as you can see, this is a Polish Polish edition. Uh, in original, it's. Uh, Secret Power uh, cards deck. Uh, we will see in in the book inside uh, what is uh, the exactly uh, the exact translation. And uh, this is deck by Anne Stark. So we can open it. As you see, we have. book here and so we're gonna look at this now mm -hmm. we have uh, the same cover of course it's not very thick okay and uh, yes sacred power reading cards yes this is the Original title. I have uh, basic information on the banking, uh, how to use these cards, uh, about uh, meditation, for example. And I mostly use these cards for meditation. Uh, I choose uh, one uh, card of the day. Uh, mostly and uh, I have special bond with this deck because uh, I was using it uh, for more than uh, 40 days and I was taking notes in my notebook uh, how I feel about um, the cards uh, of the day We have uh, here one card reading, three cards reading, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six card reading. Uh, we have here meaning of, of the cards. So we have affirmations here. 
and as you can see the book is black and white inside and at the end of the book we have a short bio of of the author of the deck and uh, it's very inspiring because uh, she suffers from anxieties, uh, panic attacks, uh, she was brilliant in school but she finally created something as beautiful uh, as these cards uh, so I think that Oracle and uh, Tarot cards uh, can really help us when we don't feel very well. And we have uh, about uh, artist some information here. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, he can walk uh, very fast. And the illustrations are digital arts, uh, as I remember, if I remember correctly. Yes, that will be the book. Yes, we have uh, basic information, information about uh, cards, how to use them. So, oh, and this is how the back of the cards look like. Uh, as I, I, I'm not sure if I said this, but my uh, two absolutely favorite colors, purple and uh, blue, and and that's maybe why I love <laughs> this deck so much. But I'm gonna show you uh, illustrations now. So for now, we're putting aside uh, the book, the box, and. I will um, translate for you and I will translate for you these cards because as I said uh, this is a Polish edition so okay maybe I'm gonna do this like this and we have a uh, first card and this is a rainbow dragon and I remember from the description that uh, when we have this card, uh, we are supposed to choose uh, what colors uh, are more uh, interesting for us. For example, uh, now when I am uh, looking mm, at the card, uh, I feel the most uh, drawn. I feel the biggest connection to blue color. And every color um, have some meaning. Okay. We have here illusion, and it's more purple like dark blues, and it reminds me uh, of this scene from. Labyrinth, a movie with, with David Bowie. If you have seen the movie, you know what I mean. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite movies ever. We have healing here, and these cards always. Mm, have some hidden things on the picture. Uh, for example, here you can see the same symbol uh, which we have here. Here we have some bird. I'm not sure uh, what exactly the bird is, but uh, I think it's very symbolic. We have a space here and our healer. Here we have truth, and as you can see, these cards uh, have similar uh, color pattern. We have blues mostly, 
and uh, I love this card uh, it's inner power and we have white tiger here and you can see in his eyes that um, there is a lot of uh, inner, inner strength in this animal and we can feel the same over this card And we have rest here. And this is absolutely beautiful card with dolphins, with some island, waterfall, with beautiful sunset. And it's definitely very calming. And here we have affirmations. And we have these affirmations here. And we have uh, all chakras, of course. Uh, for example, here we have I am love, I am, I am, uh, I am creative. This is a very amazing and beautiful card. I mean, all of them are absolutely beautiful and powerful. Uh, we have a self-love card here. Uh, here we can see inner child uh, and here we have the source and I must say I had in my uh, one card reading I had a lot of this card like at, l at least I guess uh, 10 times <laughs> I don't know uh, we have uh, angels here so maybe it was some sign, I don't know. And we have here a little bit different colors we, because we have here this golden like yellow and uh, white. Uh, we have Devas here. And uh, this is crystal uh, deva if I remember correctly uh, from the book and this is a really amazing and also powerful card uh, and this is journey of the soul I think I can translate it like this we have we have our soul here and this beautiful palace city I think I can say and we have blues and purples and also pink color here oh I love this card this is so beautiful and this is a communication card and we have a lot of butterflies here and they are also uh, very symbolic and we have here our cover uh, our sacred uh, wisdom we have moon phases here and our beautiful owl I had uh, quite a lot um, times this card uh, too. I think I can translate it as a quiet place. And we have beautiful garden, paradise like. We have a lot of butterflies and flowers here. And it looks like some sort of gate to paradise, I would say. But it's a very cheerful picture. Oh, we have a lot of purple here. And this is cut of intuition. And I guess this uh, cut is connected to third eye chakra.
purification. It's uh, very, I would say, night-like card because of the dark blue, uh, but the water is a symbol of uh, purification, is sort of catharsis, I would say, and water has this power to make things pure again. Uh, this is lighting. These are also very powerful cards. Uh, we have uh, Goddess Isis. I hope I remember correctly. It, it reminds me a little of uh, the Tower Tower because we have mm, like a destruction here but something new is born from this destruction. Also very beautiful and so we have our uh, usually colors or usual colors and also golden like in the source cards. And here we have angelic help. We have rainbow colors here, very beautiful. Uh, we have this uh, patterns, uh, geometric patterns, I would say. And our angel has absolutely beautiful wings. Oh, this is uh, also a very beautiful card, Intimacy, and we have here a woman and a man, uh, and uh, they like, I don't know, the one is like crystal-like, but also reminds me of the eyes, and she's like fire, and I think it's a very beautiful picture. And uh, we have here energetic balance, and we have also here uh, chakras. And I think that uh, in the guidebook uh, we also uh, have a sort of exercise to choose uh, one color, uh, which is the most, uh, I would say, uh, invisible <laughs> for us. Uh, for example, I am drawn to red color now uh, for the root chakra, but you can tell me in the comments uh, which color is the most uh, interesting for you. And we have a ref reflection here, we have a wolf and another one in the background. It seems to be a little sad, but uh, sometimes we uh, need to be around for a moment to make our reflection on things. This one of my favorite cards with horses and its freedom and uh, I have also other deck with spirit animals but I'm not sure there is a card of freedom is hummingbird I guess but a horse is there too but I don't I don't remember uh, what was the uh, horse uh, symbol in, in that deck, but I will show you one day my uh, spirit animals deck because it's it's my favorite of my whole collection. But let's get back to this card, and we have a yin yang symbol here, and we also have a white and black uh, horse and. In the guidebook, um, we can read that uh, they have two different uh, meanings, but they are 
both important of course Animal Kingdom this is absolutely I don't know if my fa I mean my favorite because I love animals but <laughs> uh, I have I had like one this card in my readings and we have also in the guidebook a size to choose one of the animals and uh, recently I chose owl because as I said I am very connected to this animal we have borders here and uh, our characters are like behind the wall but one of them climbed on the ladder to, to the new world, to the new kingdom, it looks like a soul kingdom I think that this card um, symbolizes that we have to sometimes make changes in our lives to see a new perspective and uh, this is sound card and I love this card because it reminds me of ASMR and also a music uh, sound is a very powerful powerful tool and the manifestation and we have a wizard here I would say Gandalf like I really like this card uh, Abundance and I never had this card I didn't even remember that uh, it is in this deck Beautiful sunset and hands with money, gold, I'm not sure or maybe some gems and with, uh, we have also food here I guess uh, change we, we have our character here and I would say like autumn and spring or summer but uh, change is uh, sometimes important sometimes is sometimes very important in our lives and I think it's uh, similar to the cut to the borders cut uh, I translated this card as a, a divine consciousness <laughs> and we have here a human <laughs> and a divine hand from the heavens and it's also a very spiritual card and so we here we have unconditional love we have a female a woman with a, a child and she has a beautiful very long uh, hair but it's uh, not only about uh, parent-child love but about uh, love to ourselves and to everything and everyone I love this card <laughs> this is one of absolutely my favorites this transformation we have a phoenix here and I love the dark blue purple background and it's very powerful and very positive card I mean all of them are positive but uh, some of them 
just make make me happy when I have them during <laughs> reading secret nexus. And this is community. Uh, I must say I had this card a lot too in my readings. And we have a group of people dancing in front of the wall fire. And we have also here some some symbols. Uh, it looks like it's it's like a sound, I would say, like a music, uh, at least in my opinion. It's also very amazing cards, and it symbolizes, of course, that we are part of a bigger group. Tree of Life. And uh, we, what can I say? We have a big, huge tree here, and um, trees are very powerful beings. And I think that people should have a lot of more respect for them. And we have last, last two cards. Compassion. And uh, let me check the guidebook. Because uh, I don't remember who she was. I hope I can find it and not move my camera too much. I am recording it on the ground, so it's <laughs> very uncomfortable for me. Uh, she is Kwame. Sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. And she has, uh, she's sitting on the lotus flower and she has it in her hands. I love the colors, they are very feminine, uh, the red and the pink. And our last card, what is it? Is this, is, <laughs> sorry, it is exploration. And this is like a journey card. We have a compass here, we have mountains, and we have some traveler. Yes, oh, and a map, I guess. Yes, so this card is about a journey, of course. And it was our last uh, card. I hope you like it. Uh, I wanted to make this video for a very long time. Uh, so I am happy I finish it. Thank you so much for the watching. Uh, I hope you want to see more videos like this. And always remember to relax. Bye.